Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz, I post every day at the moment. So if you want to see a lot of beauty reviews, I've got a skincare haul coming up, Black Friday haul, monthly buyers haul coming up, some very exciting hauls coming up. So if you want to see them, stick around, subscribe down below, come join my family, come say hi. I have a Facebook page, are you joined? Please come and join my Facebook page. I'm thinking of ways to interact with you guys a little bit more, so join my Facebook page. Anyway, we are going to be testing the Lobster palette. I'm just going to start off with my favourite palette, of course. I did a huge unboxing yesterday, and that was a very old video. So, that video actually came out... Like, I actually filmed that video before I had a microphone. That's how old the video is. So, I'm actually finally getting around to playing with all the Friends X Revolution Series 2. I did show you like the packaging and everything like that in the video so I'm not going to go too much into detail only that you can feel the lobster on this it's like raised um, and the fact that it's pink is amazing my favourite colour I haven't got anything on my face just yet because I just finished filming the skincare haul that you're not going to see for another two weeks I feel like but look how big this palette is this palette retails for £20. Now, when I originally got it, I had a discount code and I had, okay, £20 in points. So, all of that taken off. So, I bought four things that were meant to be £80. I think I paid £40 something for all four items, which I'm incredibly, incredibly impressed with. So, we're going to dive straight in. I'm just going to put some base on and you know my favourite base, the Beauty Bay base in shade 3. I'm going to slap that on and come back and we're gonna just dive into this palette. Base is on, now let's dive into the palette. I feel like going in for a neutral eye. Um, so I'm gonna go in with Trans Bond Star, I can never say that word properly, which is this brown shade here. And of course the kids come out now. And I'm using a Peaches and Cream PC10. That matte is gorgeous. That blended in really well. Now, it on camera it looks a bit patchy, but I think that's just because of the shadows. And I have like a shadow here in my skin, so it always looks patchy, but in the mirror it looks really nice. So all the matte shades actually have lobsters imprinted. Now I did say this in my actual like reveal video and I really like that. Next we're going to go in with Rosita the Sita which is this shade here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you the shade names and put a little picture here and point to the, the shade that I'm using which will make it so much easier than picking up this heavy palette. I'm just using the same PC10 brush as well. We're going to blend that into the transition shade which was Transponsor, if I'm saying that properly. If not, I don't care, don't come at me. And then what I want to do is take a clean brush. I always do this. I've got a Lottie London brush. This is so good for like just cleaning up the edges, making sure everything is blended. And then do the same on the other eye. Do I dare and go in with the black, which is called Stevie the TV, this shade right here. I, I'm showing you when I said I wasn't going to show you. Hey ho. I'm going to take this crown brush. It doesn't have a name. Just a little blending brush, but it's a bit more dense, so it's good for packing. It's not actually a black. It's like a really deep brown. I'm just going to blend it in. I love eye looks like this. I'm 
Now what I want to do is take a clean brush and go in with Ultimate Fighting Champion, which is a white, and just put that under my brow bone, clean up the edges under there. I really like like a creamy white shade. More creamy, but this is white, so it's fine. It really does blend out your transition shade so nicely. It also helps my foundation blend in around my eyes really nice. Just doing a bit more blending, bit more, bit more blending. Making sure everything is diffused nicely. The black I'm not too worried about diffusing properly right now because I'm going to put a lid shade on and then blend out the lid shade and the black with another shimmer. Ooh, what shimmer do I go in with? There's Legendary, which is like a peach shimmer, which is really nice. And then you've got Little Round Waffle. <gasps> oh, that could be the one that I... Oh, oh, oh. This one's like a... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to call that shade. We've also got some blues so a nubbin oh, that is more like a purple wow and then we've got what else have we got spray tan these are so soft that one's spray tan i think that's the shade i'm gonna go in with do you know that we've got ski trip which i already know is going to be my inner corner highlight. It's this one here. Let's see, catch the light. What else have we got? We've got the box. We've got baloney. The box is another lovely inner corner highlight. Baloney is another purpley pink. So they're the last two here. So what was it? The box, which is this gold shimmer. And then was it baloney just below that? Some nice shimmers in here. I think I'm missing... I haven't shown you the barge. It's the last one. Oh, that one looks so good. It looks like a lighter version of little... What was it? I don't know. I don't know what this was anymore, but it looks like a lighter version. Okay. Shimmers are swatched. Shimmers are incredible that I'm going to have to use... Spray tan. Yep, spray tan. Spray tan is what I will be using. Are we ready to see what spray tan looks like on my lid? I'm not even gonna put any spray on it. It looks incredible. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. The formula in this palette, whoo, is insane. I haven't really spoke about this palette because I just wanted to play with it before I kind of give my thoughts on the colour layout, on the swatches. I just wanted to dive in and play with this. I, I hope you can see what just happened there. I'm going to put a second layer on. But you do not have to wet. This formula is an incredible formula. There's fallout, obviously, but not that much. Oh my god. And the black has blended into... Oh, it's blended into the black really nicely. Just using whatever's left on the brush to blend out the edges. Oh my god, that looks so good. Alright, I'm going to do my other eye, do some eyeliner. And then I'm just going to talk through my base with you. Because I haven't done that in a little while. So, oh my god, this looks so good. Alright, I'll be back. So I've put on the NYX Honey Dew Me Up as usual. I love that stuff. Taken out my nose stud. So that I can put MUA Pro Base in 130 on. I haven't used this in forever. I feel like I've been loving my True Match lately. Ah. 
And also, I haven't been using concealer. I've said that a few times actually lately. I'm going to try not to talk while I'm doing this because you're going to hear me doing that through the mic because the mic is actually really strong. Then for powder, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match. I love falling back in love with this powder again. I'm trying to hold back on the Rev Pro CC powder. Then going to bronze with Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzo Bronzo Bronzer in Baleo. Then gonna go in with a Beauty Bay Shimmery Blush in Bloom. Keep using Bitten, but I think it's time to whack out Bloom. For highlight, I'm bringing out this Medium I Heart Revolution Contour Palette and taking the highlight in there. That contour is way too dark for me. And you know, I hate contouring. But this is such a lovely highlight, especially if you've got like yellow undertone skin. I'm going to take this natural, lip, natural Collection Lipstick Lip Liner and this Velvet Barium Lipstick in Crave Me. This is what just the lipstick lip liner looks like. Now let's go in with the lipstick. I feel really glam. So I'm going to go and do my eyebrows off camera. Nothing new about my eyebrows. And then let's come back and do under my eyes. Swatch a few matte shades, talk about the palette. So I've gone ahead and used the Equinox Mist just before I did my mascara, which is the Chocolate Dip Mascara, just because if I do it before, then I get smudges all under here, which is annoying. I'm going to keep this very simple. I know this is a palette with lots of colour in there, but I don't feel like doing anything else to this look. All I feel like doing is putting Ski Trip in my inner corner. So that is what I will be doing. I've swatched all the shimmers, so I'm just going to swatch the mattes for you guys. And sorry, look at the inner corner highlight. That is insane. I'm sorry, but this whole palette is incredible. You can get a proper glam look from it. So we've got Ultimate Fighting Champion, which is the one I used under my brow bone. Then we've got Race Car Bed, Rosita the Sita, Stevie the TV. And I should have pulled my sleeve down. So you're not going to see the white shade. But those are the first four. Obviously we used the white in my um, brow bone. Then we used Rosita the Sita as a blending shade just below transition. And then we used Stevie the TV in the outer corners. And the last shade from that row is Could I Be... That one's a really nice one. And the formats in the next row is Trance, Bonstar, I cannot, Bonstar, Beef, Trifle, oh, we remember that, don't we? Vegas, and Bagpipes. Oh my God, Ross's Bagpipes, who remembers that? They're not swatching too great, but they obviously worked really well on my eyes. Uh, I think maybe these are the type of swatches you got to swatch twice. And in the last row, there's only three mattes, so New York, 10, and Sightseeing. So this is New York, which is like a cool tone purple. This is 10. And the last one is Sightseeing down there. So those are all the swatches. It's really nice. Very nice layout. You're going to get a lovely, like neutral eye with it with like a pop of shimmer on there you're not going to get too much you're not going to get a colorful look this palette this is why it's my favorite so this is the palette up close i did show an up close shot of this palette in my reveal pillow pillio video <laughs> um and this is what it looks like you've got all you like your neutral transition shades up here some lovely pops of blue shimmers down here the shimmers in this palette oh my god the shimmers guys have you have you got this palette? If you haven't, it is worth it just for the shimmers. The shimmer to matte ratio is really good. Like there's more mattes in here than there is shimmers. But every single shimmer is unique and is stunning. Like absolutely stunning. I would highly, highly 100% recommend this palette. I would even, even if I wasn't so tight, pay 20 pounds for this palette. I think it's worth the, the price tag to be fair. It's a huge palette. It's 
got a lot of thought put into it. It's a lovely neutral but like warm tone neutral with a bit of cool tone colours in there so you can get whatever you want out of this. You can get like a cool toned look, then you can get like a warm tone look down here. I, I love this palette. Now I know I haven't spoken too much about the palette, I've kind of just used it because I was so excited, I just wanted to use it. Highly recommend it. Pigmentation alone of the shimmers is a reason I would go out and buy this palette, I'm telling you. It is stunning. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial and review of the Lobster palette. I will be playing with that palette one more time for you guys, just at another later date because I've got a lot of reviews going up. So I hope you like this video. Please smash a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you soon. Bye guys!